This is Life in a Nutshell. I'm Lon Schiff Bauer. Come every November, December, I really like to ask people if they set New Year's resolutions. Thing is, most of the time when I ask, folks kind of look at me like it's a childish question and say, no, I don't do that. And this really surprises me. I find it kind of astonishing. Now, listen, I know January 1st is a date like any other date. There's no special significance to it aside from a new calendar. But you know what? It's symbolic, and symbolism can be powerful. And I find it a really great time to kind of take stock of my past year and look ahead to the next year and figure out where do I want to take my life and my goals and things like that. So when I ask folks why they don't set New Year's resolutions, they're like, I don't know. I used to do it when I was younger, but I never stuck with it. I don't really see the point. So no, I don't participate in that sort of plebeian practice anymore. Well, that's really the crux of the matter, isn't it? What they're essentially saying is, I try, I fail, I'm not going to try again. After all, why set myself up for failure? Now, in some previous episodes, we've talked about some of the reasons why we might struggle to reach some of our goals. We talked about things like undervaluing our time and our resources or not having the right enabling infrastructure in place. But there's more that can stand in the way of us and success. And one of them is we confuse a goal with really just an aspiration. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, let me show you. Oftentimes when I ask somebody, hey, tell me about a goal you have, they'll say things like, I want to write a book. I want to lose weight. I want to earn more money. I want to start a business. These are great and marvelous, but they're not goals. They are vague aspirations, something that you kind of would like to achieve one day, but you're not really putting any money on the barrel head. You're not really committing yourself to it. Now, once again, they are powerful because these vague aspirations are really the impetus, the beginning of a good, solid goal and objective. And that's what we need to do with them is kind of make that transition. But alone, no, an aspiration more times than not, is not going to happen. We need to put some planning and some thought and some discipline behind these aspirations and turn them into really good functional goals. Now, how are we going to do that? We're going to do that by being smart. I don't mean smart as in here. We're all smart. What I mean is we need to make them specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. That's the GRAND SMART acronym. And so I want to take a moment to show you how we would use this tool, this structure, to help turn a vague aspiration like write a book into a very actionable goal. So as SMART starts with S, let's start with specific. Specifically, what kind of book do you want to write? Are you talking about a fiction novel? Are you talking nonfiction? Are we talking children's book? How-to manual, instructional guide, technical guide, autobiography? There's any number of genres out there that you could pursue. What kind of book are you going to write? Next is measurable. How are you going to know when you are done? What does success look like quantitatively? So in the case of a book, is it when you've written a certain number of pages or when you have both the text and the graphics together? Is it going to be when you've done your final editorial pass? Is it not done until it is for sale on Amazon for the world to purchase? What does success look like? How are you going to know that you have achieved your goal quantitatively? That brings us to attainable. Now, this is really kind of a reality check for us. 
Given all of our other obligations, our time and our resources, and our other responsibilities and projects that we have going on, is it really realistic for us to chase after this goal, given the specific nature of the goal, what kind of book we're writing, and what done looks like, how we're measuring success? After all, we have a lot of irons in the fire. Can we fit this one more iron into the fire? This requires us to be honest with ourselves and really kind of look ourselves in the eye and say, is this attainable? Am I ready to commit? Next is relevant. Now, when I say relevant, is it relevant to where you want to take your life and career? All of us have visions for where we want to be in the future. Will this specific goal of writing a book help you reach your lifelong ambition, your lifelong vision of where you want to go? Now, if you want to take your life in a place where you're a writer, where you're an artist, where you are you know, contributing to literature in one way or another or promoting a service, then yeah, writing a book might be a fantastic idea. But if you're like, no, my lifelong ambition really has nothing to do with writing writing books or anything even ancillary to that, I just think it would be a cool idea to write a book, then I don't know that this is a really relevant objective for you. Finally, we have T, time bound. Now, this is important because if we don't set a hard and fast date, then this goal can just kind of go on forever. By setting a date, we create a forcing function, something that really keeps us moving forward, progress against schedule, so that we can actually put in place the tasks we need to accomplish to reach our objective. So set a date and really build your plan around that date. And that's, in fact, one of the really powerful aspects of this SMART structure. By setting a larger goal around writing a book, we can then break that down into smaller manageable tasks that we can then execute to each month, week, and day. So a good SMART objective is a great starting point, certainly a lot better than a vague aspiration. Now, as you notice, this is not rocket science. This is not a particularly complicated concept. But please, don't let its simplicity fool you. This is a very, very powerful tool. After all, the internal combustion engine is a pretty darn simple machine. But wow, the things it can do. Same thing goes with SMART objectives. Trust me, it's really going to help bring the focus and discipline you need to be successful in reaching your goals. But of course, you don't have to take my word for it. You can do it. Do it right now. Take your goal, take a moment, and figure out how it fits in this SMART structure. And of course, as always, do me a favor and share this with your friends and families and coworkers because they can benefit from this as well. Again, it's not complicated. It's not rocket science, but it is so powerful. Okay, so give it a try and let me know how it works out for you. All right. And until we talk again, have a fantastic day.